Hey everyone, and thank you so much for joining me today on my YouTube channel. I'm your girl, Robin Nicole, the inspiration specialist, and I'm wired to inspire you to live your authentic purpose. So guys, today is the last day of our nine part three week series on my book, Pep Talk Prayers. If you don't have a copy, you can get it below the description. And I'll also leave a way for you to grab it off the screen at the end of this video. I just want to say thank you guys for all of your um, participation and thanks for all of the comments and questions and reaching out. I really, really do appreciate it, guys. Um, so if you checked us out on Wednesday, we talked about the plot and I told you that this was going to this was the only time I did this. But the information for Wednesday and today is both on the same page. And it's just what I let, was led to share. There is a prayer and here's how it reads. Lord, please create a clean heart for me and refresh me with the right spirit. Establish my faith and spiritual authority to separate me from any evil actions that prevent me from doing the kingdom work you've called me to do. The reason why this is so important is that when we think about our life plan, I don't know about anybody else. I know, though, for me, when I think about my life plan, I want that to go a certain way, which is the whole premise of a plan, right? You're literally planning it out because you want to follow what it is that, you know, you've written out and how you want it to be for yourself. And, you know, I'm, no, I'm sure many of you have heard this if you haven't, but in Proverbs 69, it says the heart of a man plans his way, but the Lord establishes his steps. So what that basically tells you is at the end of the day, no matter what your life plan is, it's already predetermined. But what I do think is important for you to understand is you have the ability and the opportunity to do anything, good, bad, and different. We have a consequence in life and whatever we choose to do, that is what we roll with, right? So today, I want to ask you this question early before I go any deeper. Do you have a life plan currently? Don't put your life plan in the comments, but if you do have a life plan, like if, you know, some people do a year plan, a five-year plan, a 20-year plan. Do you have a life plan though? Like, is there something that you've decided, this is how I want the structure of my life to be? If there, if you, if any of you have a life plan, just drop it in the comments and let me know. Um, this is important to ask because I think sometimes um, life presents us with so much stuff and we could try to plan and say we want things to go a certain way, but that we all know, especially after everything that's been happening in the world the last couple of years, especially you can say you're going to do something and plan to do something. It is absolutely not the thing. Y'all, let me tell y'all, I have seen so many millionaires come out of this pandemic. There are so many people, especially when I see TikTok, sometimes you see people who have full blown careers making six figures doing some, like I saw doctors and attorneys and I saw all of these different people with all types of careers. Um, somebody I think was in accounting. Um, I forgot there was another really unique career that a long-standing career that they had I saw one of those people they like blew up six figures selling like t-shirts and like items and little quirky things with these really unique slogans and then this other lady she started making this fantastic art and she posted on TikTok and she sold like fifty thousand dollars worth of art in like a couple of hours you know what I'm saying because she decided to just go with it and she was already doing some other things so I think it's important that when you think about a life plan, you also think about the premise of that life plan. Are you are you creating a life plan and then you're putting a lock on it and you're not allowing anything to change? Or are you creating a life plan that's allowing you the opportunity to still grow within the confines of the things that God says is best for you? Again, this entire book was about faith and living in God's perfect will. That's what the pep talk prayers were about. So it's important that you know this moving forward. It's all about your faith. Without faith, it's impossible to please him. Sometimes we need a little pep in our step and we need we need a little prayer and our talking to help us get to the things that are truly, truly meant for us. It's not always very easy for us to do, but I think when you are really making a good will and effort to see those changes and to make those strides in your life, you will see things turn around. Again, it doesn't necessarily happen overnight and everybody has their own method to their madness and how they come around to these things. But if you learn nothing else from these nine 
episodes about pep talk prayers on faith, this is what I want you to walk away with. You are the one who determines how the trajectory of your life is going to go. That responsibility is not for anyone else but you. And you know at the end of the day and at the beginning of the day and in the middle of the day, you always have to consult the father, the father for leading and guidance. So as you exit and you move on to the next phase and you are literally looking at your life and trying to assess if you have a life plan or if you have one and now you're revisiting it, just remember, it doesn't matter what you plan. If you don't have faith, if you don't have belief, and if you're just letting anything happen any kind of way, you will rarely, if ever, get the sustainable results and the things that you truly desire to stick around in your life. Because I can promise you something. When you do it your way, you always run the risk of losing it. And if you keep it, it'll make you miserable. Remember the word says, the, blessed, the blessings of the Lord make it one rich and add it no sorrow. You make sure that whatever you decide your life plan to be, that it has no sorrow. Because if, if it has no sorrow, we know that God was responsible for giving it to you. Thank you guys so much for participating. Thank you guys for sharing, liking, subscribing, and turning on your notifications. And please check the screen right now. You can get the full nine episodes right here in this playlist. Or you can click and get a copy of the book and make sure you go to Unwired to Inspire.com to check out all my apparel products and services. I'm Wired to Inspire. I hope you are too.